Hi everyone, my name is Sam. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notification every time I post a new video. Also, please like this video if it was helpful to you. I also have created some similar content related to ChatGPT, so please check out my channel. You should also see the videos at the end of this video. So in this video, I'll show you how you can use ChatGPT to create a website for your business or for YouTube channel or anything you would like. So if you want to create a website, but you don't have the HTML and CSS skills to create a website, ChatGPT can definitely help you with the code. So in this video, what I will do is ask ChatGPT to create a website for my YouTube channel. And then I will I'll copy and paste that code to Microsoft Visual Studio, where I'll see, where I'll show you how ChatGPT created a website for me and how you can just make a little changes to that website and make it your own. So I'll do that in this video. So let's get started. Now I'll ask ChatGPT to create a website for my YouTube channel using HTML and CSS. So the more information you can give to ChatGPT, it can incorporate that information into the website itself. So uh, I'll just type it out. I'll, I'll, I'll speed up this process and then I'll show you the code at the end of this. So I asked ChatGPT to write me a code for my uh, consulting company called HowTech, and our offices are located in Washington, D.C., and we have our office in London as well. And this is what uh, this is uh, the code that uh, ChatGPT gave me. So what I'll do is just copy and paste this code into uh, Microsoft Visual Studio and kind of show you what that what this website looks like. The next step would be to copy and paste this code to Microsoft Visual Studio. So this is the code that ChatGPT gave me. The first part is the HTML part of the uh, uh, of the website, and the second part is the CSS part of the website. So I had to create separate folders or separate files for both of them. I'll just copy code here, go to Visual Studio, and then here I'll just create a new file. I'll just name this uh, uh, How Tech. Uh, website okay contact website and let's see uh, contact the HTML because I want to make sure that it is saved as a HTML so I'll just name that how tech HTML okay just ignore the first one I'll delete this. Yeah, so here, I'll just uh, copy and paste this here. The first part, now we need the CSS part of it. So I'll just go down, copy the CSS part of the code. So if you look at the HTML part of the code, uh, we can do that. I'll just show you the HTML part and then I'll show you how it looks like after we, when we apply the CSS part. So just the html part that's how it looks like but when we apply the css part of the code it will look completely different because css kind of give it a structure so here the css css is called styles.css we'll just name it styles styles.css and then enter and copy and paste the code here so this is it i'll just save this so this is already safe. Now I'll get to just go back to the website and it should be applied already. So when we refresh this, uh, let's see, hopefully it is saved. Mm -hmm. Styles.css, and uh -huh, it is called styles.css, yes. 
Yeah, so here, here we go. It is applied now. So this is the website it looks like now after we applied the CSS. We could make changes to this website as we like. So if you make, if you want to include our services, so if you want to, I want to make changes to the services that uh, we provide, I can add more services or can edit the same services. So what I can do is just uh, copy and paste the uh, list. And then here I'll just put, mm -hmm. So, uh, consulting, and then I'll just add another list, and then I'll say uh, chat GPT uh, videos, chat uh, GPT videos, and then software development integration, we don't do that. So I'll just change that to uh, other micro uh microsoft tips so as you see once i save this you see all these changes are applied to our website now so this is our website and whatever i change here it will be changed here so the uh the email address this is not our email address so i can change that to whatever i like so i'll just do how i tech 101 at gmail.com and if I save this, it will change the email address here. I can change this to small i. You look fancy. Here we go, small i tech. Uh, now the phone number, I can change the phone number. So here, 555, I'm gonna add our phone number, 000000. So this is our new phone number. Uh, here it says uh, copyright how tech consulting. So this, I can change that. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, I can make a lot of changes. The about part, I can change more things to it. So how tech consulting is a leading provider of technology consulting services with offices in Washington, DC and London. I can uh, add more uh, intro to it. So I can add, it was created on January 1st, 2023 to teach uh, user users tips and tricks about tech okay i'll do that so save this here we go so that part is added to our introduction or the, the about page so you can add a lot more things to it you can add like uh, a bunch of other things that you like our location you can add more location you can make the this even more fancier you can change the colors of different things in here as well so here the background color here is black we can change that to something else if you like we can make it green if you like. So all I would do is just uh, click here and then it will kind of change the, choose the color for you. So I'll just do this. Mm, select green and then save. Okay, here we go. And then save, here we go. So we change this color to green now. And at the bottom, we can do the same thing. So this is for the header. For that, we'll, for that we'll, be, we'll have to find the footer. So footer is here. We can change the color to, let's do something other than green. Uh, we can change, we can choose blue. So we'll just choose purple and then control save. Oh, uh, here we go. So this is purple now. For, for these uh, writings, we can also change their color. Uh, we have to look for, um, I see family font is uh, Arial. We can change that to whatever we like. The headers, uh, it says the background, well, the, uh, the writing is white. We can change the writing to whatever we like uh, for everything else. So color of the, uh, well, these letters is black. We can change that to whatever we like. So all these changes we can make as we like to this website, but this is sort of a template website that ChatGPT created for us. So ChatGPT can be helpful when you're creating a website and you have no idea on how to create a website. All you have to do is just go ask ChatGPT how to create a website and the ChatGPT, ChatGPT will give you a code. You just copy and paste that code to some sort of a code editor and then you can make changes to that code based on your requirements, your needs and things like that. So this is a static website. You can also add uh, JavaScript to it to make it more dynamic. Uh, 
And when you click, it kind of takes you different thing. You can do that. You'll have to add JavaScript to it. So you can add JavaScript here. If you click on this, it will take you some other website and things like that. You can do that. So if you like click here, it takes you to about page. You will have to add like if you want this to be like a separate uh, page for each you, you will have to add more JavaScript into it. But this is sort of how if uh, uh, like a typical website looks like. So if you need a website or create a website, I would definitely recommend chatting with ChatGPT and uh, creating your own website. So this is it for this video. If you like this video, please uh, uh, hit the like button. Also, please subscribe to my channel. This will help me grow this uh, platform and help me create more content in the future. And also, I have created some similar content related to ChatGPT, so please check it out. You should also see that in the description below, or you should see that at the end of this video. Or you can go to my channel and uh, look for a playlist called Cool Tips, where uh, I chatted with ChatGPT about Excel, about uh, Word document, about grammar, and a bunch of other things, so please check it out. So this is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.